And here is how the grid lines up. Ivan Ares, the Spaniard, lines up on pole position, a wild card here this weekend. Jerome Gross edging in alongside, Ronnie Searock in the middle, Andrew Jordan, of course, who said he's got work to do. He's towards the outer side with Tom Cornell on the very outside of the circuit. And, uh, well, Andy Jordan, is he going to be in a good position to make it an advantage there, do you reckon, Max? It's all about the launch. You can basically come into first from any position, but it gets a bit harder out to the left. Well, let's keep an eye out. There is Tom Cornell in the number 50. Very distinctive livery he's got in his car. Wait for the revs to rise then. Wait for that ready-to-race board to be displayed here at Montalegre in Portugal. When the green light comes on, we'll be ready to go racing. The marshals just departing from the grid. Tension is in the air. An earthly silence falls over this Montalegre circuit as the drivers gear themselves up and get ready for a start. Even Ira is on the left. Jerome Gross edging in alongside. Ronnie C. Rock in the middle. Who will get the best launch down towards Turn 1? The marshal just checking that everything is all okay with these drivers. Then that green flag will be waved at the back and the revs will rise and we'll be ready for action for race two of Q2 here in Portugal. Ready to race board is displayed, lights out and blast off. Good start there from Jordan. Good start as well from Gross Edging in. Even Ares left standing almost down towards turn one. And contact as well with Gross Edging in and Andy Jordan who muscles his way through into the race lead at turn one. Coronel on the outside, Gross Edging in on the inside for second place as well. Side by side they come and Gross Edging in does inherit second place. Then Coronel muscled out and now he's going to have a strike from Ronnie Searock who goes on the outside of him but he's going to have the inside line for the next corner and he finds his way through into third position there as he runs it a little bit wide as well. So that allows even Ares to come into the drama as well. As you can see, that Tom Coronel has lost out massively here on the opening lap, going for the potential top three position there, Max, down to the back of the grid. Yeah, well, that's how it uh, ends up at the exit of the corner. Everything is about who has the grip and who has the grip. Through in towards the left hand, we go Ronnie Searock and then Ivan Ares as well. And well, despite Ivan Ares' start, he's not doing too badly here in fourth position. No, he's done really well considering he's here the first time. He's done really, really great racing. Great stuff from Andy Jordan, who leads the way. Six tenths of a second, the advantage he had over this man here. Jerome Grace is in, who's got a bonnet catch that's come loose. It's flapping away as he accelerates up on towards this dirt section. But Andrew Jordan, of course, finished second place here yesterday in round five of Titans RX at Montalegre. Very impressive result for him, considering it's only his first time ever at this circuit, and he's doing well exactly what he needs to do to keep himself in good contention here for the semis later on. Yeah, he is uh, really a, a great driver, and he can adjust his track very quickly, and you can see that he can keep it into speed. And just going into this final corner here, Max, as well, you can see how tight the drivers are having to clip it going into that left-hander. Requires, well, a lot of skill and a lot of uh, determination to really attack that, doesn't it? Well, that driver really requires, uh, that uh, corner requires a bit of cut by the driver because he needs to point the car towards the barrier and then drift sideways towards the exit and then switch the car quickly. And uh, it's uh, quite a uh, thing to do that. I think it's healthy. Yeah, you can get sweaty. <laughs> Well, speaking of getting sweaty, Ronnie Searock as well is coming under a bit of pressure here from Ivan Ares. He's not quite close enough to mount a charge or a challenge at the moment, but no such dramas for this man here, Andrew Jordan. But I tell you what, Gross Edging In has really bridged that gap down over the last couple of laps or so, and he is looking pretty menacing to try and challenge for this race lead here, Max. Yeah, he's got still a bit to catch up, and uh, I think uh, it's really on the gravel section to see whether he can manage that towards the left hand around the right we go you can see uh, on two wheels almost there for Andy Jordan and very much on two wheels as he clips the curve they're so vicious here aren't they these curves that we have seen drivers on two uh, two wheels and some nearly rolling it over as well yeah you need to really take the curves hard otherwise you're the car and you're not going to make that moving towards the left and then the right we go you can see Gross is in piling that pressure onto Andy Jordan he's going to try and force him into making a mistake but he's only got one kilometre left one lap left here at Montalegre in Portugal down towards that first turn we go once again he's not close enough to mount a challenge at the moment is Jerome Gross edging in on Andrew Jordan but through the right hander of turn one if he can get a good exit out of here and get some good drive in towards this gravel section then he might be close enough but he's just a little bit too far adrift at the moment isn't he yeah, he just uh, made a bit of a mistake on the entry, being too sideways on the tarmac, and then you just lose too much time to the cross. Through in towards that right-hander we go, carrying the speed round there is Andrew Jordan. Brilliant race it has been from the number 77. Exactly what he needed to do to turn his weekend around. He finished third, of course, in Q1, and he's going to finish on top here in Q2. Andrew Jordan takes victory in Q2, race two here in Montalegre. Jerome Gross edged in in second place, and Ronnie Seawalt with, with a nice flourish to the finish over the line there in third place. Even Ares in fourth position, and Tom Coronel comes over the line nine seconds down from the rest of the field.